Burke just said that uh, you play like a small receiver. I think he meant that as a compliment. How do you take it, and what does that mean to you? Uh, it's absolutely a compliment. You know, uh, I think a lot of people see me on film and you know don't realize that I'm about six four, two thirty. But you know, I try to I try to run routes and be quick in and out. You know, be as a uh, Elusive is a guy who's about six foot, one eighty five. So, mm -hmm. that's the way I run routes. After you got that touchdown catch, you like kind of knelt and took a moment to yourself. What were you thinking about it? Now? You know, just thankful. You know, just thankful for the opportunity. Um, you know, our defense did a good job getting us the ball back, and uh, you know, we said if we had opportunity, we couldn't let them down. We'll go ahead and put up some points. <clears throat> Well, I think they were in a cover two man, you know, the cornerback had been uh, jamming me pretty hard, trying to help the safety out, but I gave him a good mood at the line of scrimmage, you know, fake like I was hitting to go to the post, and uh, he was trying to undercut those routes all day, and uh, I just took it to the corner and filled up to a great ball on time. We got to score points. We got to have a touchdown. Nothing else. You know, no penalties. Take care of the ball, and let's win this game. Was it tense? Were you guys relaxed? Absolutely not. We've been in this situation plenty of times, and uh, we knew what we had to do. You know, we're professionals. That's our job. And, uh, you know, our defense and everybody else on the team was expecting us to do that. Game-winning touchdown catch. You're in the Big Apple. You know, huge stage. You know, what did that mean for this team? It's a big win for this team. That's all it means to me. And uh, we'll enjoy this win tonight, get back safely, and uh, move on to next week. Was it nice to not have to contend with the typical Meadowlands weather and yeah, you know, kind of yeah, go weather? Yeah, absolutely. We lucked out. You know, um, we were going to come out here and fight regardless. You know, we got a lot of <laughs> tough guys. Not everybody on just because we play in San Diego is from San Diego, but um, definitely beautiful weather tonight. You get, if you guys make a big stop on defense, get the ball back in his hands, you have a chance to win this game. Absolutely. That's all we were thinking. That uh, we get a stop here, we hold him to a few points uh, and give Phillip and the offense back the ball. And, and they did just what they did, and we finished it out for them. You feel pretty good to send the uh, New York fans home? Uh, it's five. good. I mean, you, you got to love playing out here. It's one of the biggest stages in football to play in. So uh, to get a win out here and a win like we, like we won, uh, it's huge. John, were you surprised, surprised they ran the ball down deep there in the end? Third oh, no, not really. That's that's their team. They're, you know, tough bunch of guys. They got an experienced offensive line. They got, you know, two backs, change of backs who can get in there and play at any given time. So we knew they were going to run the ball. Eli was, was getting down. outside of the pocket early. Like, how were you guys able to corral him more in the second half? Um, well, uh, DBs did a great job. And uh, one one of the plays, I know for sure, that I lost contain. Uh, but they did so, you know, so good of a job that uh, I don't I don't think the one that I, that I lost contain, he completed. Um, so they, you know, they did a great job. And then on that first sack, I mean, kind of talk about that. Like, that was a huge play at the moment. Did you feel like that was a huge play moment before the play and kind of take me through it? Well, I know that my teammates look for me to make big plays at big situations. And uh, that's what I go out to do. Um, when, they, when they need me to make the, the plays and uh, do things, um, that's why I'm here, and that's what they're looking to do. In the first half, it seemed like you were getting them in situations you wanted them to get in, and then they got away and they got the ball down. What was happening there? Yeah, they did some really good things, and uh, you know some of the plays were, were short, and then you know we missed some tackles, and they got some extra yards, got a first down. Um, you know, we were on and off as far as getting off the field on yeah. third down. We could do a lot better job with that. But overall, when they counted, uh, we came through. How important was it after you beat teams that were sub 500 and got beat by teams over? How important was it to beat a, a quality team here? Uh, yeah. You know, it's, it's great for us because it tests our character and, and we kind of know where we're at as far as the team. Uh, whenever you go out and play a team with that magnitude and, and, and get a, uh, a a huge win, especially at the end of the game, you know, we'll take it as it comes. Uh, the last few minutes, uh, last few seconds, as long as we walk out with the W, I think that we're all uh, pleased about that. Was the team ever down on itself? Not at all. I mean, you, you, you know, I was sitting on the uh, sitting on the bench, you know, getting my rest most of the game, and. Uh, when it came time, I had to watch the offense because I knew what was about to happen, and uh, they pulled it through and did, you know, finish the game for us. What was it like to watch that about a defense that doesn't give up a third down in the second half? Um, that you know we're getting better uh, every every week, and, and that's what I said. That we're just get we're, we're getting better as a team. We're getting better as a defense. Um, and like I said, when, when situations happen, that they cause us to make some big plays and uh, put our offense in a position to score some points. We did that. Are what are you saying? Of, you talk about the improvement that you're getting better. Every, what are the things that you're seeing the defense do? Uh, more continuity. You know, we're going out there. Uh, we got a, a bunch of guys who can rotate at any given time. Uh, you know, our, our DBs are playing, just playing their tails off right now. And uh, you know, I'm, I can leave out the game, and Larry can come in. 
uh, Sean Phillips can leave out the game and, and Giles Tucker, you know, come in. So we got a, a pretty good rotation going. We got guys going in and make plays as well. And you go out, you walk to the middle of the field, and it's almost like you are calling them out, my man. That's how you got to play, baby. We're going out there to be, you know, at them the whole game. And that's how we felt, you know, uh, we felt like we come in here with a New York state of mind and beat these guys. You, I mean, you gonna, can't get a better way than this. Okay. Struggling in offense in the second half, in the, in the third quarter for a little bit for that for that period, and then you come out and you need to score six points. You've got 80 yards to negotiate, just over two minutes. One time out, did Phillips say anything in the huddle? No, he didn't say anything to us. You know what I'm saying? We were playing this the whole game. See what happened was we knew all the people wouldn't be able to get down to Broadway to see the Lion King too, you know, on ice. So we wanted to give them a little show here. So we wanted to make sure we kept it down to the last drive, beat Eli Men on the last drive, take it home, have a party with Noah. Guys obviously having fun and, and, and celebrating this, but what did North say to you guys after the game? Oh man, Norm was, was fired up. You know, he told us about the New York game he played before and uh, they won, you know, late in the game. The dude ran straight out the tunnel into the locker room. So it was almost like that. Like Norm say, if Vince would have been on the other end, we probably would all would have ran in the locker room and ended the game right there. Feel this team, this could be the game that kind of sets the tempo for the second half, eight games now left, and here comes the game. Yeah, definitely. You know, uh, we, we think that New York was probably one of the better teams we were going to face the first half of the season. So, it's the one thing that we had to go out there and prove. We had to prove going into the second half of the season that we were going to play some of the big dogs. And like, we went to the stadium and beat New York. Fans had every opportunity to get. Well, you said you snuck into the end zone. I think you were open by about uh, seven yards out there. What did you, Roll that play back for us. Um, well, we uh, we came out the first time. We, we ran two two similar plays. The first time it was the run. The second time we faked the run, and I, I kind of snuck out into the flat, and, and Philip found me. I knew it was gonna. I knew that uh, I was gonna be able to sneak out as soon as I came out of the huddle. and saw how the defense was. I knew I would have an opportunity. When you, it, sometimes it's tougher to catch ones when you're wide open than when somebody's on you because you're standing there all by yourself. And you just cradle that one in your arms and take it home. Huh? Most of the time it works out that way. You know, the wide open ones, you have a lot of time to. To, to think while the ball is coming. Um, um, when it's closer, you're just kind of reacting yeah, and things fun. happen naturally. But when you're wide open, you got a lot of time to think and wait on the ball. Well, congratulations. I, I appreciate win. it. But growing up around here, coming here and getting a win. What a special day. Um, you know, I remember being in that stadium uh, when I was 17 years old. We just lost in the state playoffs. We were one game away from playing there. Uh, this is my second chance to get to come back here. <laughs> And, and both games, very similar. We beat the Jets last time. Uh, I remember they were first and goal on the five-yard line going in to win the game, and we stopped them. We were able to pull out a win. And, and what a day today with 100 family members in the stands uh, to show this much determination as a team, character, and the ability to just continue to believe and, and press forward and, and hope things will turn out all right. The mindset was that we just got to make a stop right now. We got to keep playing hard and, and just do the things that we've been doing all day long. And um, we just knew if we held them to at least a field goal or anything could happen, you never know. You know, one play can change a game. So um, we felt that all we had to do is just keep playing. And if we got to uh, get the offense, uh, the ball again, we knew they were going to do what they had to do.